Hey, what's up guys? It's WSR here. And um, so today we're gonna be doing a chopped video. If you guys know who Two Hype is, they're a new channel on YouTube, some basketball YouTubers that all live in a house. They have this series called Chopped on their channel. We got kind of inspired by that to do this cooking video, something like we've never really done before, like on the channel. So um, I'm gonna sit down right now with uh, Judge Chris and we're gonna talk about the rules of the game. And uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, so this is Judge Chris right here, um, and I'm Judge Will. We'll be the two judges for this video. Mm -hmm. um, so there's three judges that you're about to get to know in just a second. They're going to be in charge of preparing uh, an entree, a side, and a dessert for us to go ahead and test out today. So in these three bags right here, you're about to see in just a second that there's four ingredients that they must use, as well as there's some ingredients and stuff right here that they can use, plus other things throughout the kitchen and the pantry that can be used. There's three working stations that they're going to be um, sitting at and uh, working at today. And we're going to be walking around and getting some feedback as they cook. So in the rules, um, they're going to have a prep time of five minutes. They can look up recipes. Once they uh, see their ingredients, they can look up recipes. They can um, start to get like, ingredients together that they think that they're, that they're going to use. Um, and then after the five minute timer is up, there's going to be 40 minutes for them to cook and prepare a dish for us. And we've already determined a, an order, um, which we're gonna say in just a second. And they're gonna be presenting their dishes to us and we're gonna come up with a winner and chop off two contestants. There'll be one winner, one round. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, right. let's get to know the chefs. Hi, I'm Chef Heiser. I'm an Eagle Scout and I think I'm ready for this challenge. I'm Chef Asensio. <laughs> Fun fact, I just used the bathroom. And today, I got on my lucky socks. So oh. I'm gonna take this dub. So y'all, Chef Sweet Baby Ray right here. And you already know, I'm a win, cause it's my namesake, y'all. I bring the sauce. <laughs> so now what we're about to do is, um, each chef is about to um, go ahead and see what their four ingredients are. There's three currently in the bag, and one of them is out here. They're gonna have to use these four ingredients to create a meal, uh, I mean an entree, a side, and a dessert. Right after this, they're gonna be given five minutes each to uh, go ahead and prep, and then 40 minutes of cooking time, and then we'll go ahead and judge and see how it all plays out. So, uh, contestants, you guys wanna go ahead and grab your bag? Yeah, and we got it. Now, take out the potato first. All right, we got potato. You have one potato. One, just one? One potato. All right. Now, your next ingredient, take out the buns that are in a, a plastic bag. Those are going to be dessert buns. You're going to be using those. Oh, those aren't buns. Those are like a strawberry shortcake type bread. Okay. And now take out the entree. It's a steak meat. All right. Each person has one steak meat. Oh, now I'm happy. I cook steak all the time. Hell yeah. So now go ahead and uh, put all those back in your bag. Go to your stations. And um, we're going to- Oh, damn it, Christian! It. Okay. So, sweet baby Ray, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? All right, man. I'm gonna be honest. I love cooking steak, so I want to make a dish centered around the steak. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm thinking maybe some of this. Um, what is that? Uh, green beans. Yeah, green beans. Yeah, yeah. That and um, maybe some eggs, something like that. And for the dessert, uh. I oh, no, I think I might surprise y'all with dessert. I think I might have something crazy. It's a crazy plan, but I think it might work. John, John, what are you thinking right now? What are you oh thinking? man, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I am very, very <laughs> lost, man. I am very lost. Well, my original plan was to be a judge, and then tables got turned, and I became a, a chef like that. Um, I didn't really have anything originally planned because I, I didn't know what was in those bags. Um, I was just planning on trying food, but instead I was cooking food. Chef Heiser, Chef Heiser, what are you thinking right now? What are you thinking? Um, what I'm thinking is using salt and pepper, maybe some Himalayan salt, add a different flavor to it. Okay, okay. If I not, I'm gonna probably make some French fries with this. Oh, okay. And if not, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a baked potato. Oh, okay. Okay, okay cool. Um, with these green beans and mushrooms, 
Um, I had some little bit of healthy side in it. Put, yeah, nice. Put nice, inside nice. with the steak. Good, good. And then just cut these shortbread cakes and probably make like a layered cake or something like that. Okay. Um, yeah. Hey, mom, cool. I need you to send me my cookbook. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs>
All right, Heiser, so we're doing our first walk around. Um, so far, what have you completed? Uh, so far, I'm making papas instead of french fries because uh, there's not enough oil and I had to adjust <laughs> to the situation. That nice, nice, I'm also good, gonna good. cut my steak in half. You're gonna cut it in half, okay. Yes, so cook quicker for the time restricted. Ray, what's your approach going on right now? What are you doing with these potatoes? I'm gonna sear some potatoes for y'all because I don't have time for the oven. Or do I know how to operate the oven? <laughs> You guys got 23 minutes. The most I would add is five minutes. If everybody is really struggling, I would add five minutes. But if not, just add five minutes. Just add five minutes. Should judge, do you agree that we should add five minutes? I want this to be cooked and not raw. Right <laughs> yeah, I agree too. Uh, I we will add five minutes. Jonathan, Chef Asensio, what's going on right now? What have you got done? What are you working on? So I'm still cooking my bacon. These french fries are gonna go in in the last five minutes, and as soon as I'm done with my bacon, I'm gonna start on my steak. The nice. dessert is a little bit of a surprise, so I will not speak of that. Okay, cool. So you know we know that fancy. <laughs> We got many things cooking all at once right now, so it's not really a surprise. I'm gonna really hate cleaning this kitchen afterwards. <laughs> Sweet baby Ray. Yeah. So I'm very intrigued to know something. Yeah. Are you cooking us up a very, um, we'll say, Filipino style dish? Is this what uh, you would call, or are we looking at more of an American style? Honestly, it's more of an American style because I was thinking of doing a Filipino style dish. But uh, there are very specific Filipino sauces and ingredients that you would need. But you know what? I'm just as American as the next guy, so I figured I'm Filipino American. Time to tap into that second word. Right. Nice, I like that tactic. Very nice, very nice. Time check. They're all 18. 18? Yeah. Creativity is a lot of points. We will be awarding many points off of creativity, guys. Taste is also everything. Ray, I would not use that. That is very old. <laughs> Interesting green bean tactic. Going with the stove. The last of the olive oil being used, and we're seeing chocolate. We're gonna see chocolate go onto the on the grill. Some melted chocolate going on the grill. This is an interesting tactic by Chef Baby Ray. I'm kind of liking to see these. This presentation is coming out very nice, Chef Heiser. Yes, we will be judging these very roughly. We both are very picky eaters. I am very fat. I'm also going to eat all my food. <laughs> Chef Baby Ray, yep. see you going with the cooked buns that you put on the steak pan. And you also did a very interesting tactic I've never seen before with going with the chocolate chips. Going with the chocolate chips on the stove. So, y'all said y'all were looking for creativity, so I figured go in. All in or all out. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Okay, so what are your thoughts so far? We're coming down to the final minutes of this challenge. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? I mean, so far, you know, things are pretty, you know, things are going pretty good. I'm interested to see what Ray's planning is. I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to, uh, um, you know, decide and judge who's going to be the best, I guess. I guess with my picks, you know, right now at the moment, the best would be Jonathan. No, not Jonathan. I mean, Ray or either one of those two. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for both of them. I'm rooting for all of them. I'm rooting for a good meal, and I really feel like... I really feel like this meal is going to come down to taste. I think they're all going to have a nice creative aspect. They all have had an interesting choices with how they have went about cooking this meal. They've had to do a lot of changing up different items because of the loss of certain items. So um, I think it's going to be really interesting to... It'll be very interesting... <laughs> It'll be very interesting to see who comes up with this win. We're coming down to the final minutes. Let's go back inside. Nine minutes remain. And if you finish it, you think you're done, yeah, cover it with plates. Make sure it's hot or however you want it to be presented to us. Go ahead and do that. Then go ahead and start putting your stuff on the table and know where yours is. I was really just trying to figure out what else I could add to my dish. And then I just ended up cleaning up my earth and find anything. Eight minutes remain. Eight minutes.
five, four, three, Wait. two, and one. All right, so let's go over real quick um, the order. It's gonna be Chef Heiser, followed by Chef Asensio, and then Chef Sweet Baby Ray going last. Um, first off, I would like um, Heiser to step forward in the front and present your dish. Don't tell us exactly what it is yet. Just, just give us your plates. Uh, all right, here is my entree. Yes, judges. we definitely we want to start with entrees, judges. Or uh, judges. chefs, chefs. My bad. Okay. okay. Is that... This is my dessert. Okay. Heiser, where I'm gonna unmask your uh, entree, and then I want you to go ahead and tell us what you uh, prepared for us today. What I prepared for you is some steak. Um, green beans are seasoned with mm -hmm. Himalayan salt and pepper. Okay. Um, you have salt and pepper uh, with the potatoes, but I know I had to put a little bit more salt because potatoes do absorb salt. Cooking tip. Um, okay. For the steak, on one side I added the garlic, onion, and black um, what is it? sea salt and black pepper. Okay. And the other side is put sea salt and black pepper without the garlic onion. Yes. Okay. Um, my question before we go ahead and try your food, yes. um, you did not provide any uh, sauces for us, correct? You didn't have any sauces? Yeah, I had no sauces. Okay. Judge, like do question. you know how to use a knife? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are... I want to cut it off real quick. I want to make sure. I don't want that part. <laughs> then we'll take a quick cut. Did, um, when you were preparing this, Chef Heiser, did you cut off any pieces of the steak or did you just use the steak and just cut it in half? I just cut it in half. Okay. Cool. All right. It doesn't look bad, it looks good. Before I die. <laughs> <laughs> no. At least I Very died. good. Yeah. Very interesting. It's a medium rare steak. Oh, that's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, Chef Heiser, the spices you used, incredible. I will say that right off the bat. Potato. Mm. Very nice potatoes. Very good. Mm -hmm. And I had to adjust because all the oil was used. <laughs> I had to use butter, which was a natural oil. I, I didn't have anything to do with that. I mean, how much to talk about. How did you dress these green beans again? The green beans I used, I actually really just good. used um, sea salt and black pepper as well. And, and added some Himalayan salt. Were these, um, pinch. you put these on the, on the grill? On the grill? With the same as a steak after the grill. To get still the steak. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. This is my dessert. Alright. First off, right off the bat, I really liked how you went ahead and de yes. decorated that. That's Thank you. Very nice. So now, um, go ahead and tell us about it. Okay. Everyone has a sweet tooth. There is, you have the cake itself, and then at the bottom, you have a nice thin layer of icing. After that, you have a little pinch of honey. And then you added some graham crackers crunched up and peanuts to get that extra crunch. Mm -hmm. And even if you wanted to have a little bit healthy, and you can have a strawberry. Okay. Did you pick these strawberries out yourself? Um, no, I got them from Walmart and H-E-B. Um, very interesting flavor. Mm -hmm. Very good. So peanuts, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little scared for that. Yeah. Mm. I didn't know how it was gonna taste. Are you allergic to peanuts? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like actually, that I don't is... know about that. <laughs> the sweet the honey was a great add. The sweet fruit. I, mm. That tastes really good with honey. Okay, so now let's have a... Chef Asensio come up and present his dish. Now go ahead and tell us what you, oh, okay. So, we have a we have a garlic and herbs steak with a side of loaded baked potato french fries. Interesting choice. I, I, I was not expecting those. I didn't know, yeah. I literally never saw you make that. <laughs> I, mean, I just saw you make the fries. I didn't know what the bacon was for. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, my first question is, what is this uh, sauce that you put on here? That is sour cream. Sour cream, okay. Um, I, want to, I want to try to fry first. I'm very interested in these fries. Yeah. Sour cream is a nice touch. I, w I wish there was a little bit more cheese flavor though. Gotcha. Bacon is good though. Bacon you cooked really nice. Mm -hmm. This is this is really good, John. I'm gonna go ahead and take a piece of this steak. This looks really good. Did you put any uh, sauces on the steak? Uh, no, we just did garlic. Just garlic, okay. 
There you go. Very nice use of the garlic. I really like how it has a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Your steak's not dry at all. That is a lot of really juiciness to it. Really good. I'm afraid I cut through the plate. <laughs> <laughs> so with the dessert, I, I used that, that, that strawberry shortcake and then there is a vanilla icing on the bottom with the peppermint ice cream with um, a little bit of the peppermint mint chocolate, the Andes, and then uh, whipped cream on top. Peppermint ice cream. Peppermint ice cream. Nice touch. Can you go ahead and cover up your meal? Alrighty. Very nice, very nice. Last but certainly not least, mm -hmm. judges, I want to present us your entree. So this is my entree right here. Just to start, we got some steak. Uh, personal favorite of mine, we got some scrambled eggs, mm -hmm. we got some seared potato, and we got some green beans right here. And to top it all off, I kind of sprinkled a little bit with lemon juice. It looks very nice. I'll say the presentation, very nice. Mm -hmm. um, what did you use to like flavor some of uh, these? Uh, some of uh, I used just your basic salt and pepper and uh, lemon juice, uh, use some butter. Can't believe it's not butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous for your steak because how much salt I, I saw you put on it. But I'm gonna go into it with an open mind. Same here. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a fan of eggs just in general. But I'm gonna give it a try. Right. So. Is this cooked all the way? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Is this cooked all the way? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, I'll try another part. Let's see. Right. Let me cut it. Yeah. Mm. Does that look good? Does this look good? Christian? I can't tell. Inside. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. It's good. Oh, wait. I think this could have been better if you would have had it hotter, but that's also not your fault. You did go last, but it does take away part of that. So I won't put that against you. <laughs> you said this is from the steak, right? You put this in the same pan as the yeah. steak? Yeah. You said the same uh, oils that the steak had. I like the flavor of the potato. It's a little strong, but it's good. You definitely cooked the eggs very well. Thank you. Eggs are really nice. Thank you, Judge. All right, Judge, so here is my dessert. Um, oh, yeah. So I, I like the presentation. Right the so, right. so what I decided to do is so there's some whipped cream on top of it with some sprinkles, as you can see. And below the whipped cream is a melted chocolate that you guys saw me cooking in the pan. Mm -hmm. And then I have some strawberries with the uh, icing right on. Okay, so on the on these cakes, there's no icing, right? The icing's just right down the strawberries? Yeah. Okay. The chocolate on the inside, really nice. The melted chocolate really complements the, the bun. Thank you, chefs. Mm -hmm. uh, overall, I'm very impressed. Is it for me to say that? Um, I was not expecting things to taste as good as they did from all three of you guys. True. Overall, very nice job. This is going to be a very tough decision we're going to have to make. Mm -hmm. um, so now, if you guys would like, um, I will take you guys up to my room. All right. <laughs> 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 Um, I really liked Heiser. I think had definitely the best steak. Yeah, for me, I loved. I loved. I loved the steak. steak. Heiser by far wins the steak. Mm -hmm. The seasoning that he used was just phenomenal. The sea salt, mm -hmm. amazing. The best side though, John, the fries. The fries, yeah. definitely the best. I also uh, really liked John's dessert, but then I liked Heiser's because like it was I like liked Heiser's too. yeah, because it was like elegant, I guess, in a way. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not something I would normally eat, and it made me like, wow, that's okay, actually... That's was interesting, with the, the vanilla frosting. Like, it wasn't like too sweet, it was just like, like, you know, like right in the middle. Mm. Ray, Ray, was, Ray, I didn't, he didn't have enough flavor in his food. No, Ray was, The eggs were good. Presentation-wise, at least for his dessert, was a His mess. dessert, a mess? For his dessert, it was like... It, it was a little sloppy. Yeah, he's, you know, he had his, um... 
Is this like, you know, perfectly triangular? No, it looked really good. For me, I, I, we definitely know he's getting dropped. Yeah. The hard part is who won. For me, like he was really like, think Heiser. Yes, I think like, Chef Heiser definitely had the best steak. The steak is really what puts it over the top. They both had really good dessert, really good presentation. Mm -hmm. Jonathan's loaded baked potato fries were amazing. And yeah, his his, his yeah. fries were really good. Yeah, his fries were really good. His steak was not crippled, not bad. I like, like the seasoning he used as well. Yeah, I like how he's he, he's or he cut like you know, in half so we both get like you know a slice. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that was and I also like the napkins. Heiser had the napkins. Nobody else had the napkins. True. You're right. It's obvious who wins this one. All right, um, chefs. Overall, we were very very impressed. Um, I think I can speak for Judge Chris. Mm -hmm. uh, we were both very impressed by everything. This was a very hard choice. Um, we can show you our scorecards after. It was very hard to pick a winner. I will say that. Um, this was a very, very close race from third to first. So, um, last but not least, we're going to chop. Chef Ray. Chef Sweet Baby Ray. Um, when I got chopped, uh, I didn't really take it personal. Uh, if anything, it's just motivation to, you know, do better and do better next time. And uh, hopefully, if there's another chopped episode, I will come back and be victorious on that one. If we had to go ahead and say why we had to chop Ray off first, it would have to be the lack of flavor compared to Chef Heiser and Chef um, Asensio. I think um, the eggs was very nice. I liked the eggs. We really liked that. The potatoes didn't feel like they were cooked enough. They felt kind of raw still. They were very hard. Um, the flavor was there in certain ways, like the lime or the lemon juice that you used, very nice. Um, it just kind of lacked flavor in the steak. The steak was also kind of hard still. It just didn't seem like it was fully cooked. Your, but still, overall, very nice. Uh, your dessert, it was good. I liked your dessert a lot. It was just like, it was just like slapped. They were just like, you know. Uh, it, didn't, like, the present, like, it, was, it was good, I'm not gonna say. It was, it was not bad, but just like presentation-wise, it could have been better. Yes, so. So now, um, an even closer race was between first and second place. Um, I think this really, this came down to the steak. Mm -hmm. We picked this person off the steak, and we're gonna go ahead and explain everything because it could have been flip flopped either way. So with uh, coming in second place, Chef Asensio. <laughs> <laughs> Felt really good. I was really hoping for first, but it is what it is. Like I said, this was very hard. Um, and honestly, if we probably would have put Chef Asensio first if your steak had a little bit more flavor. It was very juicy. It had a lot of. I really like how you did it, mm -hmm. but. Um, Love your fries. The fries. The fries and the dessert, I had you on top over Heiser. But his overall entree and his presentation with the napkins, he had just a better presentation wise. And I really liked how you did your dessert presentation. That's the other reason we put you on top. I feel like I was doing something fancy. Winning this one, uh, we're going to give this to Chef Heiser. Congratulations, judges, for all being on the show. Thank you. Cheers. Really appreciate Thank you. each of you. Um, joining the show. We were very impressed by every meal and we're probably gonna go ahead and eat it right now. Yeah, so. so. I was excited, ecstatic. Um, I was shocked my skills were put to the test and using my brain to figure out all the problems that and the adversity that I had to go through <laughs> during this challenge. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. This was an awesome video to make. I really mm -hmm. hope we can do this again sometime soon and we'll maybe flip rolls around and stuff like that. Um, anyways guys, 